all right everybody what's up man hope you're having a good one so we got some black ops 2 gameplay multiplayer on the map raid and we'll jump a little bit later into some good zombies there and uh, the alcatraz which i really like that map so we'll have a little mix over here on this gameplay on this video um uh, i want to cover today you know the fact that they announced the digital deluxe editions for black ops 4 so i will show you guys in details what to expect you know if you want to buy the deluxe edition or the digital deluxe en edition and even the uh the pro edition which has no price for that one on the on the website that i'm looking over here on charlie intel but i'll cover you know the details everything that will come with it uh, but before I get into that, guys, I just want to, you know, come back and do a little, um, little touch on the on my previous video, where some people, you know, in the comment section was like, you know, why did you even upload this? Are you bragging for, you know, for attention or I don't know, whatever the case may be. Like some people thought that I was uploading that just for I don't know because i was bragging for attention well it, it's not the case if you guys missed it i'll leave the link under the description my last video was like a really short video um less than 30 seconds and you see me uh going towards a homeless person who was sitting in front of the bank and randomly my girlfriend somehow decided to record me where i'm giving food to this homeless guy and you know the story was that Friday night me and my girlfriend you know normally we like to go down to the city and we went to this nice restaurant nice Portuguese restaurant well actually when we were there we don't go to that one very often and you know to be honest when we were there we kind of wanted to leave because we we felt like we were just like too packed in there and it was like I don't know tables were just one next to each other like just too close from people and i i like to have like a little bit of space but either way um nonetheless should i say i had a great meal you know i uh, i had some portuguese chicken uh, my girlfriend had some nice potato with cod and <laughs> it's funny right with kind of a funny coincidence cod call of duty no it's not call of duty cod the fish cod yeah portuguese people we love that shit um and you know we we uh e even though the the restaurant wasn't really you know that great as a space environment the food was good so we wait we we ate well and uh we had some left so we we brought it with us and uh when i got in the car I had to pass by the bank and when I passed by the bank I saw this homeless guy in front of the bank and um, you know I I've looked at the guy the guy didn't look like he was I don't know like a you know an alcoholic or a junkie. he just looked like you know normal guy that just didn't had you know what we all have you know for the most part so you know I I give him a few quarters and then I was like, man, you know what? I know I have some food left in the car. Why not just give this guy like, you know, nice chicken that is still warm with some french fries in there. So, you know, I go in the car, I grab that and I, I go and I give that to the guy. And it happened to my girlfriend, you know, she she uh, she recorded me doing that. And when I got back to the car, she showed me the video and, you know, I was like, ah, you know what? Why not upload this on YouTube? And even though it's a short video, there's no, I mean, I'm not talking. I mean, the, no words are needed to show this video. Just what I'm doing there, the gesture just shows it for itself. And I thought it was a nice gesture. And I even thought about, you know, you, you know, before I upload the video, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to monetize this video because I know that there is people out there on YouTube that do this and maybe they do it for attention. I don't know, but they, you know, they do monetize their videos. I, I don't, I'm not going to bitch about anyone who does that. But to me, I was like, you know what? I don't want to get any profit from this. I'm just, I just want to share a good action to my viewers. 
Like this is something that anyone can do. And uh, there is, you know, some homeless people that aren't really very straight in, in terms of, uh, you know, some of them, you give them money, they're going to spend their money either for alcohol or, or drugs. And I've experienced that. Last year, there was a guy who was searching on the garbage and he was carrying his dog. And he was like drinking some freaking old slush, something like that. And I was like, damn. And he was during the winter, I was like, man. That really sucks, man. The guy was drinking that freaking juice, man, over, you know, from a cup there. And I was like, man. So I got out of the car and I gave the guy 10 bucks. So I got back in the car, drove an extra block, stopped at the liquor store. And who do I see? The same guy running inside of the store, going directly through the, the freaking fridge and get two big ass beers and i'm like wow are you serious so i'm next to him at the cash and i look at him dude did do you realize i'm the one who just gave you those ten dollars man do you realize that i gave you that so that you could buy maybe you some you know for yourself some food and for your dog and i i don't really remember what the guy told me but you know he just left and i was like oh well you know ten dollars it's history who cares you know i try to make a good action but anyways moral of the story is you know if you see someone who's homeless and it looks generally someone that needs help why not you know if you have some give some and don't be hoping for something in return that's i don't know that's something that i felt inside of me anyways seven minutes into this video some cod nerds maybe there might be mad at me man no information yet all this story it's coming right now okay so e3 is uh you know is happening right now treyarch have done already uh yesterday uh, a little interview there with von der Harden and dan bunting and man what a waste of time 10 30 yesterday at night i wanted to go to bed and I'm, I see a tweet of Von Hart saying, we're going live in a few minutes. I'm like, oh, maybe some blackout information. I don't know. Let's see. What do we get in half an hour? Pretty much the same thing that we've got like a week ago, where it's just multiplayer information talking about, you know, they're, they're having jungle back and summit and firing range. And I'm like, really? That's it? What a waste of time. I just lost half an hour of sleep. So anyways, I went to bed and today uh, Charlie Intel did tweet this out. So Call of Duty Black Ops 4 special editions have been announced. So here's what we got, man. Digital Deluxe Edition for $99. You get um, the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game, obviously, which include classified a bonus zombie experience available at launch. So when I mentioned that not a long time ago that a you know, another zombie map would have been would have be available if you get the digital deluxe edition. Well, it is true. And then you will get four additional all new zombie maps during the year. Also, 12 multiplayer maps, which that is what pisses me off in here, because normally we used to get 16 multiplayers. Remember, it's, it was four batches of four multiplayers and one zombie. Now we're only get getting 12 multiplayer maps and four exclusive blackout characters with digital bonus items and 2400 call of duty points that's what you're getting now you're being so greedy and man comparing to battlefield 5 people have been telling me on twitter bro in battlefield battlefield 5 and other games they they do their best to give a smile to the consumer over here it's like wow okay I don't know, man. Blackout might be great, but we'll see, man. But 12 maps, 12 multiplayer maps, that's really cheesy, man. They're better not giving us 10 maps at the launch. Because I'm going to be pissed, man. Um, the next one is the Digital Deluxe EN's Edition for $129. So you get the same thing, the same thing that I just said. But instead of getting uh, 2,400 Call of Duty points, you get... 8,500 Call of Duty points. So you're literally paying 30 bucks more to get about 6,000 points more. I'm like, really? 
Okay, and then they got this one here, which has no price. It's a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Pro Edition, only available at select retailers. So, like I said, no price for this one. So, you get the same thing, but you'll get also Black Ops 4 Stealth, Stealth Book, uh, Black Ops 4 Pop Socket, 10 Specialist Patches. Look at these, these things, man. Patches. Really? What am I going to do with this? Uh, three zombies inspired collectible collectible art cards and you're getting less points on this one a thousand and a hundred call of duty points so i don't know if they're planning on selling this pro edition 150 bucks but with less call of duty points mm, i don't i don't see where's the you know the, the big reward here and also from you know what i've heard they're not going to be delivering these multiplayer maps like they used to do back then you know four batches of four multiplayer maps with one zombie from what i've heard apparently they're planning on you know let's say they're gonna give us two maps every month so we will be feeling like we'll have you know fresh content more often but in reality we're getting still less maps than what we used to get before so i don't know they, they didn't even show us nothing about blackouts at e3 they're not planning into because if i'm looking here at the schedule june 13 which is uh, this wednesday at 4 45 eastern time or 1 45 pacific time treyarch's jason blundell talks about the history of zombies and that's it um i don't know if there's gonna be anything else hopefully there will be I i'm really looking forward to see what this blackout thing looks like and uh we'll, we'll see man but um 12 maps cheapskakes man cheapskakes battlefield 5 man look at those guys man they, sh they should have followed man what the other ones are doing man they're giving smiles to their fans compared to what treyarch has shown to us at e3 so far their presentation has been really really weak man no blackout i think the blackout is still in the works i don't know man I i'm waiting for some footage man Anyways, man, that's my thoughts. You guys' opinions, I'm out of here. Peace.